Robot Underground Expose. So this guy, Elliot Simmons, um, he was going through some decision choices and so you gotta understand too that I'm very busy and I will do my best to text you and get back to you, but I'm I'm not your sales guy. I'm I'm I like helping people. But th there are limits, and that's why typically I suggest, if you want more attention, that you subscribe to my Patreon page, or our Patreon page, because it doesn't go to me, but it goes to Robot. So, and I, and I want you to support Robot and the ideas that I promote on this channel, okay? So, Elliot was like, ask me about uh, the uh, recoil amps, and then he like sees this uh, Top Strong gear, which is, um, it's actually a really good amplifier. Um, I think it's a, a, a version of the one that we import. Um, I know that the one that we import is the same as the SFB 500, which Sundown sells. The one that we import is one ohm stable per channel and it does about 600 watts per channel at one ohm. Uh, this one has, um, it's only $145 shipped on Amazon and um, I'll put a link to it in the description so you can check it out. But um, he checked it out and there's confusing information about because I think on one part of the website it says uh, one ohm stable and the other one says four ohm stable so I don't know but then I had him um, send me what was it I said I said send me a picture of the guts and so there yeah so minimum four, four ohm stereo so that's what it's saying on that amplifier the 250.4 I don't know if this is the right manual or if you sent me the wrong picture or what. Um, and it's also, there's no fuses or anything like that. So, but it's a, it's a, it's a Brazilian design made in China. And I said, well, send me a picture of the guts. And then he sent me a picture of the guts. There we go. And this is typical of those amplifiers. So uh, I was like, wow, that's a really good deal. You know, I, I suggest using it. And um, so I, I don't think he quite understands impedance and when you bridge it and things like that and that's not what this video is about so i'm not going to get into that um but you know he's a sony explode guy which is fine it's just not high performance um and i think this guy was looking for high performance but of course he doesn't want to pay and um so anyways this was last week and i was not feeling great uh, i think i was probably going through covid and uh chat 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 um he was showing me that uh, there's a good deal on the recoil 600.1. Uh, the reason I offered it eighty dollars, he was like, <laughs> it was funny because he assumed the worst about me because I think I priced it at eighty dollars, which is what I agreed with um, with Edge. Edge is the parent company, and so when I coordinated with Edge about pricing, I said, well, you should probably price it at a hundred dollars because it's easily worth that, and then do a combo where you buy. Uh, the four channel amp and the mono amp together for like 180 shipped. I think that would be a reasonable thing to do. Uh, so, and then that did not happen, uh, you know, and then I see this price drop, which again, I'm not, I'm not mad about, but the problem is, is it puts egg on my face. So, cause I tell you guys $80 and then, you know, well, what about this? And guys get really upset over a couple of dollars on an amplifier. And this was one of those guys. So I'm like, well, I said, if that's the price, then fucking buy it, like go for it. But it was funny, he was texting me a bunch of texts and I didn't answer, let me see. Oh, I gave him some suggestions. I had suggested uh, the Auto Le Audio Legion um, Armada Series 12. Um, I think it was a dual two. And what you can do is open it up because I think he was using it with the recoil um, 600.1, the, the DI series, the D1 series, whatever you want to call it. They, they kind of fucked that up at the factory too. Uh, it's two ohm stable, and so I think that's what he ended up using. Was he just bought that, and then because uh, he was he was like, he ends up telling me that he, okay, so let me let me backtrack a little bit. So anyways, I'm not feeling great. Um, he makes a bunch of texts that I don't answer because I I I have I have to remove the the notifications on my phone because otherwise it's going off constantly. Okay, so I don't hear texts. And I will often tell people like when they're coming over to call me when you get here. Not you guys, because you guys are other parts of the country. But just, just text me and just be patient. 
So anyways, um, this guy, Elliot, uh, texts me a bunch of times and I don't respond for like an hour because I was laying down and getting some rest and I was waiting for a phone call about some medical issues. And uh, he ends up calling me and I'm like coming out of a nap and uh, let's see, where did I go? Oh, that was the hard band. Uh, let's see, where did we go? Uh, I said, laugh out loud. Oh yeah, so, so anyways, he calls me and I go, dude, you're getting, cause he gets real demanding. He's like, you haven't returned my text. And I said, dude, I'm getting way too involved in your, your buying decisions. Like you need to do your research and you need to tackle, tackle this. And so then he hangs up mad. He's like, he's like, oh, I see uh, something about um, if you don't get paid, you don't want to help anybody. And I was like, wow. And so I said, laugh out loud. I was napping and waiting on an important phone call. Help yourself to Amazon. And he's like, I will. Thanks. And then, so then later, uh, this Saturday, he says, even though I was a dick, I got to thank you. Well, I says think, but I said, thank you. The Audio Legion ported 10 inch sub with recoil amp fucking slams. And he only has $180 into it. And then he sends a correction. He says, you was a dick. So basically he's saying, even though you were a dick, Patrick, uh, your recommendation turned out. And I said, okay, I'm a dick. Uh, so I helped you for free and I'm a dick. So I think what he meant was he was just sort of joshing with me. The problem is, is we left on a sour note where I was like, fuck off. And then he's like, fine, I will fuck off. So uh, I don't take it so well. And he says, yes, I was about to order all from you. So I've already told you guys about this. I don't care if you order from me or not. Go order the best price. I don't give a shit. I want people that understand what I'm trying to build and what I'm trying to do. And if you don't want to be part of that, Go buy from JP. Go buy from uh, uh, Big D Wiz. Go buy from uh, Steve Mead. I don't give a shit. Um, and so that's where I said, uh, I said, I don't care about sales. I only care about helping people. And he says, you didn't have time for what you told me, laugh out loud. Try to be nicer, man. And so I said, no, you were arrogant, rude, and impatient. You didn't follow instructions because I told them just to text me. And I said, the fact that you think I owe you is the problem. And so his cynical remark is then why help anyone laugh out loud and that is the problem with not just young people but a lot of people who are pussies and take things personal and get upset when they don't get their way right basically karens uh and so i said because it, i help people because it's the right thing to do even if they turn out to be jack offs like you and then i i flame on them quite a bit and uh and then he's like, you're, you're truly a sad dude, all this kind of stuff. Again, he thinks I'm trying to court him whenever I'm answering his texts. I am not. I'm just answering the texts because that's something that I can do to help the community. That's something that I can help to help you as a person because I care about people. So now he ends up going in and punishing me for being a caring person. And I was like, that's fine. And, and so anyways, um, and, and then I asked him not to text me and then he texts me anyway. So again, that just shows his character even though I told him to fuck off and I never want anything to do with him, he keeps texting me. So anyways, um, and I let him know that I would be making a video about this. And then of course, guys like him say, well, you're a bitch for making a video about this. And my sister-in-law says the same thing. She's like, oh, you're a throbbing vagina. It's like, no, 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 no. That's no, I'm not a throbbing vagina. Or the other one is, uh, what was it? He said something, he made a threat to me. Oh, uh, there it is. If, if we're in person, it would be different. Right, because I'm talking a lot of shit. And I'm like, absolutely not. If you look at some of those videos that I posted um, from people that I'm kicking off the property, that's the same thing. And that's, that's how I handle people that are rude, arrogant, demanding, and uh, wanna tell me what the fuck to do on my property or in my deal. And I'm like, no, I'm trying to be nice to you and you're not taking the, the compliment or the hint. And so I, I'm not gonna be uh, abused. So, and, and that's all I'm doing is, and, and then a lot of people get, take it really personal that I reject them. So, and that's fine. I don't give a shit. That's your problem. That's not my problem. So the other thing that I wanted to address real quick, since we're doing gossip was uh, occasionally, I'll be right out. Uh, the, the other thing is sometimes I uh, Google myself uh, just in order to keep up on what the nerdy girls are doing with the name. And uh, as long as I come up first, that's fine. And right now the Instagram site's coming up first. The old website's coming up second, which is fine. Third came up, the old DIY mobile audio. So there's actually two uh, threads about robot. 
The old one from 2009 is when, um, what was his name? I forget, but the guy killed himself uh, in his Mustang II with all his tube driver equipment in the car. Todd, that's, that's what his name was. Um, because his, I don't think they were married, but his old ladies, his whatever, wife, his girlfriend, her son, Tyler, Dove, uh, I've, I befriended, like, he's, he's friends with me. He's in the deaf community. That's a whole other thing. I, I don't want to talk about that. But anyways, Todd committed suicide in his Mustang too. That's the kind of guy he was. And he basically put me on blast for something that he did. He fried some tweeters and then wanted new ones. And I was like, no, go fuck off. Because if you're frying tweeters, you're doing it wrong. And so anyways, there's like 20 pages of all that stuff of me trying to defend myself. And of course, all these guys gang banging the shit out of me. And then somebody else posted, you know, anyone back from Robot Underground. So, and of course, it turns into the sort of the same thing, which is a bunch of these guys who have no accountability and take no responsibility, like, especially if they've been banned by me. Um, you get banned for good reason. It's, it's not for no reason. And it's not because I'm crazy or psycho or anything like that. And so I'll put a link to this as well. You can read through it. There is a couple of people that say um, uh, they recently found this channel. They, they find it interesting. And then the rest of these guys go into it. So, and I had made a post earlier. Not everybody reads my posts and things like that. This was a, a sub system I helped a guy do, which was really nice because it was an old a dire subwoofer. And so I ended up making a clone for him. And uh, I'll be right out. And then, uh, what's his name? L, uh, what's his name? Maya L? Where is it at? Where does he come in? Uh, the, the, there it is, Maya L. So that's the guy that um, he had his... Uh, seven-year-old around him. I don't know if, if that's his fuck toy or if his daughter, granddaughter, I don't know. Um, but he was getting upset with me on my channel that I was cursing. And I addressed him. I'm like, you don't have to listen. You don't have to listen out loud. You, don't, you can put on headphones. There's a thousand different things, but don't make me or ask me to compromise myself, my integrity, my freedom, my expression because you're a shithead. And so I, I went back and forth with him and then I finally just banned him. So then he goes on here and, and basically just lies, 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 lies. Again, it's not that I'm uh, mad at all. In fact, I'm very flattered when people are willing to compromise themselves and their integrity to simply try to make me look bad, which I'm, I'm like, that's fine. Um, but it's important reading and this is what happens when you are successful. That's just part of the thing. Uh, so don't take it personal. And uh, I, I'm, I don't have to be professional because again, I don't care about the sale. I don't care about if people buy from me or not. That's not why I'm doing this. And if you don't understand that, then you're missing the point of the channel. And I recommend you go watch all the other, there's like a hundred other channels. Go watch MB Enclosures. He is full of shit. And he'll tell you whatever is popular to get a sale. Uh, same with Mr. Music Man. That's why I made that parody about him. He's willing to do that as well. And so there's plenty of guys out there that are willing to abuse your ignorance. And that's not me. I want to help you guys learn. And so sometimes these guys find me to be a threat because I'm here to expose them. So anyways, uh, I wanted to give you that. That's uh, it's, it's not really a Sunday sermon, but that's fine. But I got clients here. I'm going to take care of them. But I wanted to give this to you guys and tell you I love you and that I'm not crazy, that I didn't get kicked out of the Air Force, which is hilarious, um, but it's, it's fun reading. And you guys, if you watch my videos, and watch my videos, we'll go watch, even the ones that have a shitty thumbnail, watch them, because there's plenty of good content in them. And that's the whole point is, I, I, I don't want this to be attractive. I want it to be something that hits you in the heart and helps you realize that I'm trying to help you make a thousand a week from home so that you can be home with your family. That's my goal. It has nothing to do with sales. However I can help you do that, that's my goal because I think that's going to make the world better. Okay, And that's what I can do. So anyways, uh, check out these links and uh, don't let the haters win. Uh, just ignore them and walk away and go start your own thing. I love you. Bye.